Hi everyone, this is Yi Hong Ma. I'm currently a fourth year PhD student in computer science and engineering from the University of Notre Dame. My advisor is Nitesh Chawla. Today, I'm here to present my work. Are we making much progress revisiting chemical reaction yield prediction from an imbalanced regression perspective? This research is supported by Center for Computer Assisted Synthesis. First, I'm going to introduce the motivations of this work. In the picture, it gives an example of reaction yield prediction, which is the task of given a chemical reaction. The goal is to predict the percentage of reactants converted into the target product. Figure B shows a data-driven yield prediction workflow. The pipeline for reaction yield prediction integrates data from high-throughput experimentation and electronic laboratory notebooks, which serve as the big data foundation for machine learning models. And figure C shows an example of imbalanced regression. In the picture, areas with more training data are generally better learned than sparser regions. The first motivation is that there is greater importance of high yield reactions during synthesis planning for chemists. However, there's a significant performance gap in predicting high yield reactions despite their greater importance. We show that the reason for that is the data imbalance skewed towards low yield reactions. Our solution is to leverage techniques from imbalance regression. Here, let me introduce the contributions of our work. First, it introduces a novel perspective. This is the first work to reformulate reaction yield prediction as an imbalance regression problem. Second, we con have conducted a critical examination. Through comprehensive experiments on free real-world yield prediction datasets, we have uncovered and understood the limitations of existing yield prediction models when predicting high yield reactions. Third, we offer solutions for better performance. We demonstrate that simple cost-sensitive reweighting methods that can be easily integrated into existing yield prediction methods. In such ways, it can significantly improve the predictive performance on high yield reactions. For anyone who's interested in our work, I encourage you to take a look at our paper. 